part 19. Things are really heating up. It's the last episode in our teens, y'all. Um, so I'm going to open recent files, and you see no recent files. If my screen looks a little different, the user face looks a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit different, that's because we have updated Blender. Shabam! Blender 2.92 is out, okay? We were using Blender 2.91, and now we're using Blender 2.92, okay? Um, there's a couple of awesome changes in geometry nodes. It's really, it's not going to change anything that we're doing. Okay, but as a best practice, you always, always, always want to use the most recent version. So if you're watching this in real time, go ahead and update Blender to Blender 2.92. If you're watching this in future, you might already be it. It might, it might be something crazy like Blender 3.0, which is like, man, what's that like? If you're watching this in 2030, hello from the distant past. I hope we made it as a species. And... I hope whatever version of Blender you're using is just the tits, all right? So we are going to jump right into it right now. Okay, so let's dive in. Today we're going to look at, we're going to start with the shoulder. Oh, hey, now zoom out. There we go. Okay, so if we look right here, we have kind of some, we have some wild, well, it's just kind of, pretty aggressive um, geometry. It's not straight, 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 tiny bit of bend, and then there's some aggressive bends. We want to we want to do our damnedest to straighten this out. So with edge selected, we're going to just select around this shoulder and straighten it out. Okay? So we have that loop, and then how we're gonna do that, we're just gonna bevel it, okay? So you can come over here and click bevel, or you can hit Control B, either one, either one works. So I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna hit Control B. Do I have screencast keys on? Okay. And that creates some extra geometry right there. And then I wanna smooth these out, okay? So I'm just going to shift alt click that and then come down here and finish out the loop. And then I can go, I can just smooth right there. Just smooth that out and then pull it like that. And see how we smooth it out? Take a look. Just like that. Now you could also um, are my screencast keys on? Y'all, I don't see them. Found them. Crises averted. Okay, got it right there. Like I said, y'all, new version of Blender. You're gonna have to tweak it up uh, to get it to kind of how how things how things were, how things used to be to the olden days. And then let's try let's try doing the same thing here. I wonder if we can. Think we can? You think we can straighten this out as well? Dun 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 dun. not bad let's save our work okay all right so let's add let's go to select let's alt click that move that in a little bit um, what is that x-axis move that in pull that out get that like that and here let's you know what okay let's pull this up these two Kicking a one. Let's see. Maybe bring this up a little bit. Like that. I'm gonna add a nice little more geometry there and bring that in. Okay, and then now you know what we need to do? We need to smooth this out. Okay. Let's smooth this out. And again, guys, all I'm doing. Is I'm taking this from uh, so this is the deco template, right? And if I'm going too slow for you, then go to Dicko's channel hashtag link in bio, 
and uh, watch it on Dicko's channel. But if you like the if you like the if you like this pace, then uh, keep it here. Okay, now let's add the glutes. The glute is also known as the butt, the bum, the rear end, the arse if you're European. Okay, so to do that, we're gonna do something similar to what we did up top. We're gonna select this, and then this is what's called a five pole. Okay, it's like a star with five poles. One pole, two pole, three pole, four pole, five pole. We're going to select these two, and then we're just gonna trace this line all the way around the back end. Okay, and all I'm doing is shift clicking. You guys know how to do this. This is old hat by now. Up to the five pole again, and then finish that out. And then right here, same thing that we did last time. We're gonna bevel it. So you can either click bevel, I'm gonna click bevel right there, or you can hit control B. Either one is fine. And we're gonna add some geometry, add a little more geometry to the waist, hip, bum region and pull that out. Okay, now th this is actually pretty cool. Now if you if you come to face select and you start shift clicking, shift alt clicking, you can see that wraps around, you have this edge loop here that goes all the way around nice and clean. Shift click here, you have this one. Okay, it's pretty neat. All right, now let's build out the bum. So before we do that, we're gonna add one more center line because we're going to, we want it to be vertical. I'm gonna just escape out of that. Now I'm gonna come around the back and we're essentially going to delete these flat faces and build out a new one. Okay, so with face select, because um, again, it, the butt's not here. The butt's never, if we go on a side profile, the butt's never, like this is where the butt is, but you can see the butt is always lower, just naturally on, well, on any human primate mammal. Okay, so with face select, let's just start Start carving out this bum. So we'll start from this uh, diamond and we'll go all around it. Not to take out, uh, mindful not to take out the center line. Okay. And we'll go two, two, three. And then here, 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 and here. Okay, now we're gonna delete these. And you say, why are we gonna delete these? Well, the answer is pretty simple. It's because this shape right here is super jagged. This is like a heart, this is like a broken glass. You know, this is this looks like a tile mosaic, and that is not optimum butt cheek shape. Uh, the optimum butt cheek shape is not tile mosaic. When uh, Botticelli painted uh, the birth of Venus, he was not thinking hard, jagged butt cheeks. Was she clothed? No, she was wrapped in her hair. Um, long, curly red hair, but Titian's Venus was buck-ass naked. And I can tell you right now that Titian's bum, was the optimum shape, was not, under any circumstances, jagged. So we're gonna delete these faces. Look at that, just, just get rid of them. Okay, and now we're going to select this edge loop, okay? with shift alt clicks and the whole thing gets selected. Now, what are we gonna do? You know what we're gonna do. Come over to smooth, we're gonna smooth out the edge of this bum. Look at that, look at you, O-M-G, oh, too far. Okay, we're just gonna smooth out that bum. Look at that, okay. How smooth is your bum? How smooth is your bum? I think that was a, that was a Bee Gees song. Um, from the 1970s. How smooth is your bum? <laughs> okay, so you see how this is considerably smoother than it was before, all right? There you go, you've smoothed out your bum. Good job, you guys. Okay, and then we're gonna come up here to our select box, and we're just gonna grab these on the y-axis and bring them out just a little bit. You know, not to, I mean, unless your, unless your character needs to have just an absolutely giant exterior, posterior, um, bring it out just a little bit to add some shape. And again, use your, your reference, okay? 
um, that I might even be too big because we still got to round it. So I'm going to say like that. That's a good start. Okay. And then we are going to grab this one. We're going to grab the, uh, the crescent moon, so to speak. And we're going to extrude that in. Okay. Really just create this half moon, okay? And we're going to extrude. And we're going to escape out of it. And then we want to scale this in. Now, this is going to look weird for you. So, uh, that's okay. After you've scaled it in, click G and just pull it up a little bit. And then that kind of balances it out, okay? So now, let's come over here to move and pull this out a little bit, a little bit more. And we can even kick into three to see how's the butt looking so far. So far, so good. Okay, nice little butt happening. And then we want to start connecting. Okay, so we have a quad down here. So with edge select, we can go one, two, F for face, and that fills in there. And then up here, uh, we have a triangle, right? Remember how triangles are uh, triangles and geometry cause cancer, y'all. We've talked about this. So instead, we want to go one, two, and we want to merge these two. Okay? Merge vertices at center. And look at that. Look what we've done. So now we got quads all around, y'all, and we got rid of that triangle. Okay? And we're building the curvature of the bum. Okay? Let's do that again. geometry right here holy moly okay if this happens to you then we want to merge these at center as well okay we want clean job we only want clean we only take we don't take kindly to dirty geometry okay we want to do the exact same thing we just did again okay and keep building out the curve of that bum. Okay, so we're just gonna shift click, shift click, shift click, shift click. Oh, no, not that. That. Okay, extrude with E, escape out of it, scale it in, bring it up. Okay. There we go. We're here. I'd say we can scale it even more, actually. Bring it up even like right there. Let's kick in a side view. Pull that out a little bit. Okay, nice butt form happening. It's a little clunky, and that's okay. We'll obviously smooth that out in sculpt. And I'm gonna pull this down a little bit. And out a little bit. And I'm gonna add an edge loop right here with Control R. Add a little more geometry right there, and then all I'm gonna do, take a look once I have my edge loop selected, edge loop selected, edge loop selected, and face. And there we go. Okay, let's do the exact same thing up here. One, two, F. Okay, edge select, edge select, and all you have to do is hit F, and Blender does the rest. Blender knows what's up, doesn't mess around, plays for keeps. Okay, and now we need to drag some of this butt geometry around. Okay, we can bring this in a little bit like this, a little bit. You know, we're not making a circle yet, but we also, we're not not making a circle. Okay, um, you know, this is still a little jagged, so let's click into sculpt mode and smooth this out. Here we go. We like smooth geometry. Okay, that's what we like doing. If you got smooth geometry, we're in. We're in. And then we can smooth out this butt. Okay. Um, Alright, now we're going to have to add. Now all we have left is a hole in the butt. Okay. It's not that bad. Um, it's a little jagged in areas. That's fine. We can smooth that out in sculpt mode. No big deal. We need a little more geometry in our posterior. So 
We're going to do that by getting rid of the neck. Okay, and the reason we're going to get rid of the neck is because I we don't need this geometry going down the front of the body. Okay, we just want it going down the back. All right, so we're going to get rid of that. We'll bring it back later, no big deal. But right here, we had control R, and we had a little more geometry right there. Escape out of that. Okay, so with this now, we should, in theory, be ready to build the butt, okay? So we got the edge loop. We're going to take this edge loop here, edge loop here, connect it with F. Edge loop here, edge loop here, connect it with F. Edge loop. Oh, my goodness. You see that? See, I thought I had this one selected, but it turns out I had one inside the body. That's pretty wild. We're just going to control Z out of that and select the correct edge loop, which is you know, F. Okay. Now we're going to select this edge loop here and this edge loop here. Just edge, not edge loop, excuse me. Mea culpa, mea culpa. F. Edge. Edge. F. Okay, and now we got to start being careful because we, again, we only want quads, remember. So let's hit Control R and see what we got. No, we just want it around the side. It connects. here one and let's go one two three no let's go oh okay i see what i see what's happening that was preemptive not even okay so here one here two face okay do you see what still exists okay we're gonna have some some issues here. Let's add an edge. Let's add a loop cut here and bring that up for this one. And then let's add a loop cut here to match it. Okay, so we can bring this and this together with F and then hit F again. So that side is all cleared off. Well done. Okay, we're gonna have to get creative over here because it looks like it's a triangle, but it doesn't have to be. We bring this over, we can bring this up, and then we can connect these. One, hey now, what happened? Oh, I hit tab, mea culpa. This is acting wonky, so event type, uh oh, this might be a, let's, okay, let's save our work. Just in case it crashes, it's a new distro. I'm gonna shift click and add the face. Okay, there's one, two, three, four. Now we have we have one with one, two, three. So we need to add a couple of more loop cuts here, like that. And now we should be able to connect all of our geometry with this here with F and then F F. Is that? Nope, that's a triangle. Fail. F for fail. Okay, let's add one more edge loop here. And now let's select these edges. One, one with face. And then one, one face. And there you go. There's quads, quads all around. Outstanding. Spectacular geometry. Well done. I know it might feel like it's overkill, and it definitely is, but it makes a huge difference when it comes time to animate and move this thing in space. It's just a little bit of detail up front goes, just it just goes far, y'all. So let's save our work. Okay, and now let's sculpt this and just smooth this out. Okay, I'm gonna make this brush a little bit bigger with F makes the brush uh, bigger or smaller depending and get these verts nice and smooth okay and now now that we have a nice clean geometry we can add volume to the shape okay and we'll do that in the next one. So get up, stretch, do a pull-up, do a chin-up, get a glass of water, and I'll see you in the next one.